Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create water drop, ripple effect in After Effects. Let's get started. To start, create a new composition in After Effects by clicking here. In the Composition Settings dialog box, set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels to create a full HD project. Make sure the frame rate is set to 30 FPS for smooth animation. Name this composition Main Comp to keep track of your work and click OK. Next, add a background to your composition. Right click on the Timeline panel, select New, and then choose Solid. In the Solid Settings dialog box, Set the color to create a clean background and rename the solid layer BG. Once you click OK, the white background will fill your entire composition. To add text, select the text tool, click on the composition panel, and type the text you want. It could be something like water drop effect or any text relevant to your project. After typing the text, use the alignment tools to center align it both horizontally and vertically in the composition. You can adjust the font, size, and style of the text as needed to suit your design. Once you have your background and text in place, it's time to pre-compose the layers. Select both the BG layer and the text layer in the timeline. Right-click on the selected layers and choose Pre-Compose. In the dialog box that appears, rename the pre-composition to BG Comp and click OK. This action combines your background and text into a single pre-composition making it easier to manage as you move forward in your project. After this, create a new composition for the radio wave effect by right-clicking in the project panel and selecting New Composition. Name this Composition Wave. Then right-click on the Timeline panel and choose New then Solid to create a new solid layer. Rename this layer Radio Wave. Now go to the Effects and Presets panel, search for the radio waves effect, and drag it onto your solid layer. In the Effect Controls panel, change the color of the wave to white to match the theme. Set the frequency to zero to make the wave appear more static and adjust the expansion value to make the waves expand. Enable the Reflection option, which will make the waves reflect on the surface. To make the radio wave disappear after a few seconds, decrease the lifespan value. This ensures that the waves don't last too long and fade out naturally. Next, increase the start width to 100 to give the waves more width as they propagate. After adjusting these settings, apply the Turbulent Displace effect to add distortion to the wave. Lower the amount and size values to reduce the intensity of the distortion, which creates a more subtle effect. To further enhance the look of the waves, apply the Fast Box Blur effect to the layer. Increase the blur values slightly to soften the waves and make them look smoother. After applying the blur, you might notice that the radio waves disappear too soon. In this case, go back to the lifespan settings and increase the value slightly to ensure the wave stays visible long enough. Next, use the producer point to position the wave at the bottom left of the composition. To create variation, select the radio wave layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Rename this duplicate layer radio wave 2 and move it to the top right of the composition using the producer point option. Then drag the layer to two seconds on the timeline so it appears slightly later than the first wave. Duplicate this layer again by pressing Ctrl plus D and move the new layer to one second. Decrease the lifespan of this layer so it disappears earlier than the previous waves. Now duplicate this layer one more time, place it above in the timeline, and drag it forward to another time so you have a continuous flow of radio waves in the composition. Once all the layers are set up, go back to the main comp composition. Drag the wave composition from the project panel into the timeline of the main comp. This will bring the wave animation into the main composition, and you can see the effect applied to the background and text layers. Create an adjustment layer by right-clicking on the timeline and selecting New, then Adjustment Layer. This adjustment layer will allow you to apply additional effects that affect the entire composition. In the Effects and Presets panel, search for the Caustics effect and apply it to the adjustment layer. The Caustics effect simulates the interaction of light with water, giving a reflective surface that will enhance the appearance of the radio waves. 
In the Effect Controls panel, set the water surface to the wave layer so that the caustics will interact with the radio wave animation. Adjust the color to white to keep the effect consistent with the wave's color. Finally, tweak the settings of the caustics effect to achieve your desired look. Play around with the reflection depth, wave size, and other parameters until the waves interact naturally with the background, creating a cohesive and visually appealing result. After adjusting everything, your composition will display dynamic radio waves with a reflective surface. If you want to download project files or any of the assets used to creating this video, you can find the link in the description below. Scan this QR code to connect with Novella Film Academy. Learn video editing, graphic design, or get professional editing services, and that's it. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Drop your suggestions in the comments below. Subscribe to Novella Film Academy for more such videos.